Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys a review today of the 2010 Apple TV. Now this is the newest version of the Apple TV released a few months ago at the Apple Music Bent and it runs for $99. So what you get with this is you get the Apple TV, uh, the power cord, and the set of instructions, and the newly designed Apple remote. So for the $99, you're getting pretty much a whole um, the box. Uh, there's no cables. Cables can cost about from 20 to 30 bucks depending on where you look. But if you already have HDMI cables like I did, it will just cost you the $99. So the new Apple TV is silent cool and quiet, at least as Apple says. It's very, very quiet. I have not listened to any, like, ticking or anything. It's all very quiet. Um, it doesn't include as much connections as the other one did. Uh, starting from the uh, left is power, uh, HDMI, uh, USB, uh, mini USB, optical audio, and Ethernet. On the bottom, you get an Apple logo um, with a soft material so it doesn't you know, go sliding around your entertainment center. And all the legal information that uh, companies put on things. On the front, there's really nothing on the front besides um, the, IR, the IR blaster somewhere down there. And also the indicator light. On the top, it says Apple TV. Now, the best thing about this is the price. The price of this is $99, as I said. And you're basically getting the box. If you include cables in, it might not be so nice. But for me, it was a nice price. The picture quality on this through one single HDMI cable is practically awesome. It is probably better than the 21.5 inch iMac that I have over here and probably better than some of the content I watch on my Xbox 360 but I think if I had to watch a movie or something I'd probably choose this because the picture quality is pretty nice. I also like that the new Apple remote is included um, so I don't have to go spend another 20 bucks on this new Apple remote say for another Mac or another Apple TV or something else that uses um, the Apple remote um, sensor. So I do like that this is included um, in your purchase. Uh, the size, again, I love the size. Um, as you guys know by my entertainment center by now, if you watch some of my other videos, it is very cramped in there with all the stuff I have. So I don't have that much room for to fit anything else big in there. So this is the right size, it just fits under my TV and I can still use the remote and um, pause and do stuff like that. As for cooling, um, it actually doesn't really get that hot. I mean, it does get a little hot on the top it, once you um, start using it for like an hour, but then it eventually dies down. So it probably never gets hot, which I do like, so I don't have to worry about um, overheating or having a ventilation in my entertainment center. It's pretty much practically cooled. Now, as for the downsides about it, is that um, all the cables that you need are not included. As you can tell, it doesn't include the HDMI cable. So you're going to need to go out and buy another HDMI cable from Best Buy or even Apple. Um, I think has an HDMI cable you buy. So if you don't have the HDMI cable, you're going to need to buy it. So maybe in the next revision, the Apple can put um, all the cables that you need inside the box. Um, the top material, as you guys can see, actually the whole material, it checks out, I think, as you can see, if I hold this up to the light, you guys can see all the smudges on the Apple logo on the other side. I hate this material for a rod. I wish it was, you know, a glass or something. Something that doesn't track too much fingerprints. If I hate this, it gets all on the sides, as you can see, scratches and dents, especially on the front. And on the back with all the connections, um, it does get really messed up. Um, so I don't really like the, um, the materials um, used for this. And they're not saying what input, inputs, it doesn't have components, so if you have an older HDTV or you don't have enough HDMI components in your um, TV set, you're going to need to um, buy a switcher to use this. But if it would be nice if Apple could um, put in a component cable so you don't have to go buy one, you can just hook it up with the component cables and still get the same quality as you would get from HDMI or probably just a little bit less with component in inputs, but I would like to see component inputs on the Apple TV. Now the next feature I would like to see is sort of like my own feature is um Bluetooth support. I would like if I could hook up an Apple uh, wireless keyboard, do my searching from there, and also um, um, match a trackpad or my mouse and um, just search on there without using the remote. Because with the remote you have to click um, for every single um, character. So I would like a keyboard to use um, with the Apple TV. As far as the remote goes, I'm just going to go over the remote real quick. Um, it's basically the six button remote, as you can tell from my other iMac review, just aluminum and really thin. 
as you can see, it includes a servant iPod, um, directional controls, you got your volume up, volume down, your play and pause, and you got your select button. You also got your menu button, which is right there. Um, when you push this, it activates the Apple TV, and you can um, play and pause right there. On the back, um, very solid, you have your battery compartment. And that's where you can stick in your battery compartment. And if you look on the side, it is a very thin. Um, comparing it to a iPod Shuffle, this is pretty much the only iPod probably I have right in front of me. It is relatively thin, I guess. I'm not, I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right, but I guess it's pretty thinner than the um, iPod Shuffle. Um, at least this is the second gen, I think. But it's very thin. It says designed by Apple in California, if you guys can see that. So what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to hook up the Apple TV and I'm going to give you a tour and a review of the um, software. Alright guys, I got the Apple TV all set up and ready to go so let's turn it on. And the way you turn it on is if you hit the menu button on your Apple remote. So if you press it, it turns it on. And it does take a few minutes for it to get it all loaded on um, my particular TV but it might take um, a little bit quicker depending on your TV. So here it is, once you get into the interface, um, you got a few options. Starting from the left, you got movies, TV shows, internet, uh, computers, and settings. Now, the settings just covers um, your AirPlay options, your computers have synced up. So I think you can have up to five different computers connected up to your Apple TV. So if you got your main iTunes machine and then you got an iTunes server, or you got uh, another person's iTunes library, they can all hook up to your Apple TV and you can just watch all their content from their um, iTunes libraries. So it covers everything from sound, the video, to screen server, and in general just gives you um, your basic serial number, um, the name of your Apple TV, and how much um, space, uh, how much like your IP address and stuff is, but um, and single strength. So I'll probably block out my IP address um, in the video the editing process. So if you go back, um, so we go back, uh, we get the computer, so it's my iMac across the room, so if I go here, I can look at my music, my movies, uh, TV shows, podcasts, iTunes U and photos, um, so that's it. Internet, um, you get Netflix, uh, YouTube, um, podcasts, mobile me, Flickr, a radio. I think the radio is Pandora, but I'm not really that sure. So um, don't cr don't quote me on that. Um, TV shows is the top TV shows. Now the thing about TV shows is that you can't buy NBC or I believe a few other things because a NBC is not doing the 99 cent um, TV show rentals from iTunes. What you have to do is that you have to go to your main iTunes machine, download it on your computer, and then stream it to the Apple TV using AirPlay. But I don't know if your TV shows and it looks flawless as that if it were directly on the Apple TV itself. So it is very smooth. Um, with movies, um, we'll just go into the top movies. And uh, you get this nice interface with some um, box art and stuff like that. So if I wanted to go watch the movie, uh, let's pick uh, Gem to the Greek. Um, it gives you some reviews, uh, you can watch a preview, you can rent for four ninety nine. you can add to a wish list, uh, and more, um, you can just read more information, Rotten Tomato reviews, um, who's in the movie, so it's just a basic way to get all the information about your movie. Um, in terms of playback, um, as of music, the quality just comes out of the TV speakers, um, I prefer music loud on my iMac, so I don't really like to listen to music on here, but uh, TV shows is where it's at. So as far as a YouTube video goes, we go to YouTube. Um, you can log in. I'm not really logged in here, so I'm just going to do a search for me. Once you're there, you can pick a video. So let's go down to the Apple TV unboxing. So we click the plus button. This tab to load from the internet. My Wi-Fi connection is not the best right now, so it is taking a little bit longer than usual. And you can view this in standard HD. Um, it's in HD, so I can skip through the movie if I wanted to. I can just um, fast forward through and 
you know, watch my movie fast forward. But um, the good thing about the Apple TV also is that if you don't have any movies or anything that's not in HD, it will upconvert your movies into high definition. So that's another feature worth noting. Um, overall, the um, the interface of the Apple TV is flawless. Um, I would like to see a iOS um, an app store, an iOS app store for the Apple TV. So you can play games using your iPhone or have a standalone controller you can buy. And also, I would like to see, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really think of anything else. Um, if you guys think of anything, post it in the comments. So, my overall opinion is that this is the best product you can buy. Um, the most underrated Apple product you can buy. Um, for $99, it's a pretty nice deal. So, you're getting a lot of good um, features and a very small package. So, that's my review of the Apple TV, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.